Oh, you got me a sharp. Yep. A sharp one. Gee, is that you? Should start with the unboxing? Huh? I think we should start with the unboxing. <clears throat> Hello, another episode of Art Zen and Now. Uh, tonight we're going to do an unboxing and we're going to do some estate sale finds and end up with talking about the elephant in the room. Okay, we know about these packages. We know what they are, but we've not seen them. We have not opened them. We thought we'd wait for you all. You're see it the same time. And we so, did. here we go. And you really trust me with these things. <laughs> oh, let's see, now watch me cut through the whole thing. Anyway. What are those? We're excited to see. These are some vintage Japanese. I don't know what you see. Woodblock prints. Or are they? Or are they? I don't know. We really don't know. We, we didn't, weren't for sure if they were real. Well, the way they were matted, we couldn't really tell if they were um, going to be real or not. So this is just going to be a surprise, surprise. for us. Surprise. So well they you. said thank you, and that's sweet. Uh, thank you for buying our product, I guess. By the way, I really like your uh, official pioneer woman turquoise handle. <laughs> that's very the only pretty. reason I got those. I like the color, but you know what? They work very well, too. Yeah, they, um, they actually so here are really we go. Nice. Are we, like, here we are unboxing the first thing that we we've had these for a few days and we ordered them like i said not knowing exactly oh this, that's the cute cat one. Oh, you know what though that that's is the not cat no that's a print it is a print it's so wah, wah, wah. but we did like not print. print but i love this uh this woodblock print. I've seen that it a million times. a reproduction of a woodblock. That is not a woodblock. No, it is not. And we weren't sure, but oh well. It's worth what we paid for them. You just wanted the cat. All, the colors are really brilliant in these. Very nice colors. But they are prints. They're not real woodblocks. So we'll looks probably... Like they're like G Clay almost. We'll looks probably like G -clay just on paper. keep these. We will not sell them. Is that what they are? Is G Clay on paper? I'm not, Looks they look like, like a, yeah, postcard paper. or something. They don't, they're all mounted within yeah. the frames. Yeah. That's archive quality ink sprayed onto glossy paper. They're beautiful though. Very yeah. beautiful. Great. So Very I'm good. happy, whoops, I'm Very happy good, with uh, them. I don't remember what we paid for them. Brilliant the color, so. But anyway, we'll keep those. Looks like, yes. I thought it was Probably like 20 pretty. bucks for the three of them, wasn't it? Something, something like that. Like that. It, was, it was inexpensive. Inexpensive. It was worth the uh, gamble to see so if they were real or not. Oops. So uh, this one. I have no idea what this is. We was. really, I don't know. You don't Sorry. know either? I'm going to really just lean don't. back when you're flashing the knife around <laughs> there. All right. Always cut towards yourself, right? <laughs> That's what they say. That's what Scott Michaels says. Cut to, yeah, we watch. Yeah, tell him about Scott Michaels. Scott Michaels is the guy who does this. He doesn't know we this. know him, but we... He does like a him. YouTube channel called Dearly Departed, where he basically does, like, graveyard tours and odd things, and he's a very interesting yeah. character. We enjoy him a lot. Good guy. He has no clue that we watch him, because we're very quiet. Oh, this one. Oh. Okay, this Look, one could be... they did what they told us not to do. Yeah, we, we've been taping our glass like this, and... Somebody, somebody griped at us griped. about it. But it's very smart to take your glass because sometimes the glass breaks. And it doesn't damage the print and if this you take will not, the glass. Yes. And so anyway, let's take this blue tape off. Should the glass actually break, the tape holds it all in place. Yes. And won't cut into the print or damage the print. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, that's, like it. Oh, that's the puppy in the yeah. cat in the tree. I there. have this thing about the Japanese woodblock prints that have the cats and the dogs. Now that is a real woodblock print. This one is print. a real one, yes. I, I think I knew That's that. a real vintage woodblock print. Look, it's That's on old. top. Yeah, it's on top That's of a old. mat. It's not really matted. It's laying on top of the mat, but it has these little corners that help. You gotta right. kind of tilt it a little bit like that so you don't get the light. It's beautiful. I can always add photos of it. And on the back, of yeah, course, it has it. some uh, red flowers, it's called, by, I don't have my glasses on, so went Wan Shan Chin Chung. Um, this is beautiful. That's gorgeous. I like it a lot. I like it. I don't really want to take it apart, but it is definitely That's a antique. wood. 
and yeah, it's an old wood block print. Yeah. So anyway, if it's not antique, that's like 1940s. I, I might have to keep this one. It's too. probably a early Mado period print from pre 1900, the, but got framed and put together in like 1940s. I would say it, the frame is frame. pretty beat up too. But anyway, yeah. that's that's very cool. One more time, uh, put it up and. So there's the unboxing part. It's beautiful. I'm very happy with that. Now we can talk about a couple of estate sale finds that we right. did and some reseller tips. So yes. here's a, our first batch of those. What we found at an estate yeah. sale here the other day were these prints of all of these ships from the Texas Navy, back when Texas was a republic when it was independent before it joined the United States. It was its own country. And it had its own navy. And in that navy, there were these first four ships. These are the very first four ships of the Texas Navy. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, we found these in a folio of, I guess, like 12 or 14 prints that was originally printed in 1961. And I like this one. They were all unframed. And of course, some this is the reseller tip part. Uh, an unframed print like this might sell for $20. You stick it in a frame, it can sell for over 100 And that's basically what we've got these listed at, is around 100 a piece. Uh, a little over 100 a piece. So, very, yeah, very well done. Tip. There's a little paper on the back. Ready to hang. Yeah. So, so, that's just... So our last thing here, we like to keep these videos short so that we don't bore anybody. The last thing is the elephant in the room and it's very heavy, but. This is a nice Chinese ceramic elephant. Plant stand, garden seat, tabletop. You can put a table, you can put a put little, little glass. You can put you glass can put table, tabletops on these, books lots on of things. It. You could yeah. Look, you could drink out of it. It's got little yeah. nostril holes you where the You can put your coffee on it. Uh, you could do a lot of things. You can't wear it as a hat. And you don't probably don't want to make a necklace out yeah. of it. Mm. It's very heavy. That uh, is the bottom. And it, I don't yeah. know how. The nice thing about these is you can it. find these and pick them up for, you know, usually less than about 40 or 50 bucks in an estate sale. You keep your eyes open for these you'll find them and if you go on to sites like cherish and first dibs they can sell anywhere from 500 to 2000 dollars depending on how ornate they are you can't really see the detail um yeah in this is very well painted it's it very is. well it's, finished it's very detailed it's a very nice elephant and i don't think you'll find them at hobby lobby oh well i you know i've seen repros of these you can smaller, find smaller ones yeah and uh they're really used for like bookends and stuff. But right. Find them that are like, that, like this, that are like 15 to 20 inches tall. That are super heavy They're and uh, very well made. Very well made. I like it. They I go for them. quite a bit. So be on the lookout for these kind of things because they might, you know, be well worth your time and effort to invest in them. Uh, really this one is relatively small. So even if we wanted to ship it ourselves, it would not be that hard to do. But we're going to delegate shipping to Cherish on this um, one. I would be worried about it unless yeah. we had created or something, but yeah. it's it's very nice. So we'll have that up soon in the Cherish shop, and we will have all of the links to our shops yep. in the video description. These other pieces are already up. Uh, um, anything else we want to talk about? I think that was it for today. We just thought we would keep it short and just say hi because we haven't said hi in a while yeah so. we need to keep posting keep videos posting. we need to do more we keep posting videos yeah. but thanks for coming to our unboxing and have anything else to say mm -mm. no just be on the lookout you for can do this cats. too though we like cat art so we do like cat art we and we like elephants i've seen a few cat things and bears lately um but yeah just please subscribe if you want and we'll see you later Bye. Bye.